Over 1 million nursing students trust Simple Nursing to help them pass nursing school and the NCLEX. So head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube to join them in their success. Welcome back to another episode of Pharmacology in Practice, where we explore the applications of various medications in nursing care. Today, we're diving into the world of breast cancer treatment, focusing on two important drugs, interferons and tamoxifen. We'll discuss their mechanism of action, the role in immunotherapy, and provide patient scenarios to perfectly illustrate their use and nursing implications. So, starting with interferons. These guys are a group of naturally occurring proteins produced by the body's immune system. They play a crucial role in the body's defenses against viral infections and even cancer cells. In breast cancer treatment, interferons are used as part of immunotherapy, which aims to stimulate the body's own immune system to recognize and destroy cancer cells. One type of interferon which is commonly used in breast cancer treatment is interferon alpha. It works by simply enhancing the activity of natural killer cells and cytotoxic T cells, which both are critical components of the immune system's anti-tumor response. Now let's consider the case study of Emma, a 48-year-old patient with early-stage breast cancer who's undergone surgery and chemotherapy. As a part of her treatment plan, Emma's oncologist has recommended immunotherapy with interferon alpha. As Emma's nurse, it's crucial to educate her about the potential side effects of interferon therapy, such as flu-like symptoms, fatigue, and even depression. You will need to monitor very closely for these side effects and provide supportive care as needed. You need to also encourage Emma to stay well hydrated, get plenty of rest, and report any concerning symptoms very promptly. Regular blood work may also be necessary to monitor potential hematological complications. Now switching gears to tamoxifen, this is a selective estrogen receptor modulator, commonly used in the treatment of hormone receptor positive breast cancer. It works by blocking the effects of estrogen on breast cancer cells, preventing their growth and preventing their spread. Tamoxifen is often prescribed as an adjunct therapy after surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy to reduce the risk of cancer reoccurrence, basically preventing it from coming back. It can also be used as preventative medication in women who are at high risk in developing breast cancer. So let's consider the case study of Sarah, a 55-year-old patient who has recently undergone lumpectomy and radiation therapy for early-stage hormone receptor-positive breast cancer. As part of her long-term treatment plan, Sarah's oncologist has prescribed tamoxifen. As Sarah's nurse, it's crucial to educate her about the potential side effects of tamoxifen, such as hot flashes, vaginal dryness, and even increased risk of blood clots. So you need to encourage her to report any concerning symptoms very promptly and provide guidance on managing these side effects. Regular follow-up appointments and monitoring for potential drug interactions are also essential, as tamoxifen can interact with certain medications, including antidepressants and hormone replacement therapy. So in this episode, we explored the roles of interferons and tamoxifen in breast cancer treatment, with a focus on immunotherapy and hormone therapy, respectively. By understanding the mechanism of action, the potential side effects, and nursing implications of these medications, nurses can provide comprehensive care and support to patients undergoing breast cancer treatment. So don't be scared, be prepared. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.